The next component or section of the pre-trip is the side of the bus. And typically they start from the passenger door back to the back of the bus, including the rear axle, left rear axle, and the braking system in the back. So the first is the door. Check the windows on each. They're solid. The rubber all the way around. There's no snag and no cracked rubber. Starting at the top of the bus, again, we have three marker lights, clearance lights, two yellow and one red, properly illuminated. All my windows are free of damage along the bus, no cracks, the frames are fine. We have two emergency exit windows, both properly labeled and both surrounded by reflective tape. Moving down the bus, our indicator light on the side is operating properly. We have a reflective strip down the side of the bus tape. We have two reflectors, one amber and one red on the side of the bus. As we move and look underneath the bus, we see that our exhaust is secure, not leaking, no damage that we can see. And as we move around and look towards the back axle, back here, we have two brake chambers. Though we can't see them, the brake chambers consist of five different parts. The brake chamber itself, the air hose connecting to it, which should not be leaking, should be securely in there, in place. The brake chamber is hooked to the slack adjuster, and the slack adjuster, if we were to test it, should have no more than one inch of play in the slack adjuster, and it should be pinned firmly to the push rod. And further, though again we can't see it, this, brake, this bus has drum brakes and the drum brakes should have no debris stuck within it and it has brake, drum, brake shoes and on the brake shoes the brake pads themselves have got a wear indicator and they can only check it in the garage to see whether it's below the wear indicator. If it is, the bus should be taken out of service and service and the brakes changed. And we can also see the differential and that seems to be intact and not leaking. As we move further down the side, we'll approach the rear wheel. You look inside, you can see a better view of the Exhaust seems to be hanging properly, no, nothing broken or leaking. The frame, the frame is intact and there are no welds or cracks or damage. The shackles and are firmly attached to the leaf springs and to the frame and no missing bolts or welds or cracks. Looking further in the back, we see the shock absorber and peeking out back there, you can hardly see it, is the air bag, which is fully inflated for the susp air suspension. And I'll come back and do the, well, we'll do the tires now. Reach across, this should be even wear across all the tires. In between the dual tires, there should be no obstructions. There should be no more 
no less than two thirty seconds of tread in the rear on the rear tire. The sidewall should be free of damage, cracks, bumps, or bulges, or leaks. The rim itself should be free of damage, welds, or bends or cracks. Each of the lug nuts should be checked individually, which we'll do, to see that they're tight. All the lug nuts are tight, and we see no signs of shiny threads or any cupping on the rim. Check to see the air valve, the valve stem, and there are two of them, this one and the other one on the other, the inside tire. They're intact and not leaking. And the hub itself is not leaking or damaged. Both tires, you kick them, seem to be inflated properly. The mud flap is intact and not damaged. Move up to the fuel cap. It's in place, not leaking, no signs of leaks, and it's not loose. And the door is secure. And that's it. One last glance. That's 